Hello, my dear students. The journey of thousand miles begins with one step. Is badiya quote ke saath. Main Prasad sir from N Infinity Info Solution. Welcome you all for this session. Is session me wo one step ham log aage badane wale hain. Jaha pe ham log enter karne wale hain. Fundamentals of Programming Language One ke syllabus me. And jaha pe Unit One ka introduction me abhi karne wala ho. What is prescribed by the university? In what order we supposed to study it so that it will be easy for understanding that particular unit. So let's move into detailings about what has been prescribed by university. This unit ko naam diya gaya hai introduction to program planning and C program. Obviously, C programming ka fundamental introduction as well as very genuine part that is data declaration is been covered into this. And the entire discussion begins with the history and importance of the C. As well as. As well as. Is my program planning. Kaise karna hai. Starting from the design. Se leke testing tag. Ye discussion mein hum log karne wale hai. So let's see like in what order I'll be covering this particular topic. So we'll be starting with not only the history of C, but we'll be starting with the history of entire programming languages. So yes, are programming language up in life me QI hai. What are their fundamental issues? And then you will be genuinely able to understand that why it has been prescribed for you to go with C programming language. And believe me, Yes, subject is going to play a very major role as a prerequisite in your entire journey of learning all programming languages. So, ye hum log shuru karenge why programming language ke saath. Uske baad ek step aage badenge and yahan pe aayega apna pehla C program. Jahan pe programming statement ke upar focus nahi hoga. Par program ka life cycle ke baare mein focus hoga. So, how these programs can be written? What are the different IDs can be used? In what way we need to go on processing onto it so that it can go for execution. Ye uske life cycle mein hum log study karne wale hai. Next to that, most important thing, learning the terminology, learning the vocabulary of C programming language and ye cover karne wale hai. Probably you may feel that this particular topic is somewhat theoretical topic, but what genuinely needed topic hai. Kyunki iske baad wale sare units mein, इसमें जो वोकेबलरी कवर करेंगे उसी को यूज किया है सो विल बी लर्निंग फंडामेंटल्स ऑफ प्रोग्रामिंग लैंग्वेज नेक्स्ट टू दैट विल बी गोइंग इन टाइप्स ऑफ डेटा इन सी प्रोग्रामिंग तो ये डिस्कस करते हैं कि क्यों यहां पे यूनिट वन में ही डेटा डिक्लेरेशन के बारे में हम लोगों को सोचना है बिकॉज प्रोग्राम इज अट ऑफ इंस्ट्रक्शन प्लस डेटा तो एंटायर डेटा डिक्लेरेशन इन सी वी जनरली गो इन द बिगिनिंग एंड देन वी गो ऑन राइटिंग Certain instructions, those can operate on that data. So, the important aspect of programming is data declaration that has been entirely covered in this. So, the first thing we will discuss is what are the different data types in C programming, followed by data declarations and unko karne ke liye, data ko use karne ke liye. the concept of variable is used in programming. So, what is the discussion here? Next to that, we will be moving into the range of different data types that are supported by C program. Next to that, variable ka life cycle, usko declare kaise karenge, usko initialize kaise karenge, and usko program mein use kaise karenge. Ye topic hone ke baad, we will be in the position to go for writing some programs so that we can understand the topics that we covered in this theoretical part. And in that case, will be writing a small small program to understand what is data declaration is what are the different types of data available as well as how to deal with variables next to that we'll be looking into software development life cycle yahan pe ki kisi program ko develop karna hai so it's not a process like pull the keyboard and start doing the program ye aise nahi hoga iske liye ek systematic process hai that process will be discussing. We will be discussing. And coding karne se pehle, 
we need to design the problem according to the requirements and wo design karenge with the help of algorithms and flow chart to iske bare mein hum log yahan pe discuss karne wale hai right and by using this strategies we will be developing some code in this unit only jahan pe hum log concept use karenge those are covered into this next to that we'll be moving into more about variables variables to yahan pe pata chale more about variables so variable kon kon se storage classes ko use karta hai wo kahan pe store hota hai uska life cycle kaise define hota hai that all things will be discussed under more about variables for storage classes and one more topic that will be discussing about more about variables only jahan pe constant volatile keyword जो वेरिएबल्स के साथ यूज होता है वो हम लोग डिस्कस करेंगे एंड सबसे एंड में इस यूनिट के लिए केस स्टडी दिया हुआ है हाउ टू गो ऑन कंपाइलेशन हाउ टू गो ऑन लिंकिंग ऑफ द कोड वो तो हम लोग लाइफ साइकिल में कवर करेंगे एंड बाकी बचा हुआ डिस्कशन अबाउट टेस्टिंग ऑफ द कोड एंड डिबगिंग इन केस इफ योर कोड हैज गॉट लॉजिकल एर इन टू इट तो ये बहुत बढ़िया टॉपिक रहना जहां पर यू कूड गेट टू नो कि अपना प्रोग्राम एग्जीक्यूट तो हो रहा है बट इट इज नॉट गिविंग अस प्रॉपर आउटपुट्स तो उस केस में डिबगिंग इज द ओनली ऑप्शन टू चेक आउट व्हाट इज गोइंग रॉन्ग इन टू द कोड तो वो इस केस स्टडी में हम लोग देखने वाले हैं सो दिस इज द स्कोप ऑफ यूनिट वन एंड आई होप कि यू विल डेफिनेटली एंजॉय द स्टडी ऑफ दिस यूनिट वन अलॉन्ग विथ मी यूनिवर्सिटी ने कुछ असाइनमेंट प्रिस्क्राइब किए हैं बट डेफिनेटली दोज आर नॉट सफिशियंट those are just uh, you can say like representative of the entire five units but definitely we can't stick to those 10 assignments only wo to humko karne hi hai uske alawa bahut sare programming hum log yahan pe karenge so that we can get a gist of detailings of each and every concept of this particular programming language to is session mein itna hi rakhte hain i hope ki you must have understood what way we are going to conduct the first unit that's it for this session happy learning thanks for the watching and thank you very much